Hello. Hello. Welcome to this week's video where we share what we tried to buy and what we actually bought at the NEC last week. Hello and welcome back to our channel. Especially thank you and hello and welcome to all our new subscribers we picked up. We uh, we must have picked up over 100, 150 subscribers in a week, which is big for our channel. Yeah, that's uh, that's good. So thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome and hello. Yes, if you've subscribed just from the NEC show, welcome to our channel. We're going to talk a bit about the NEC today um, and hopefully you can find out some other videos. But thank you so much. It means uh, so much to us when we read comments. The community, like the camper van community and YouTube community is really friendly, isn't it? It is. Everybody's very nice and very supportive and positive. Yeah. I'd say we probably get 25, maybe even maybe even 40, 40 percent of our content from some of our video video subscribers and viewers' comments in the boxes, don't we? Yeah, we do like a suggestion. So. Yeah. Places to go. We have some really nice ones about places to stay as well. So if you've got any suggestions or comments, please write it in the box below. Anywhere warm and tropical. Will be <laughs> Anywhere cold, and muddy. Any, anything that helps me out. Anywhere luxurious and nice. <laughs> nothing, nothing like biking through mud or anything cold. Breweries, mountain bike trails, anything, anything like that at all. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we'll start off now. We'll carry on with our video. So the NEC last week, we um, we're going to talk about what we bought and what we tried to buy. There's a reason for that, which I'll we'll explain in a second. <laughs> First of all, we came away with what most people came away with um, is a rock of brochures. You can see them. Sorry, uh, we actually we actually some of these aren't brochures. We actually joined the Auto Trail Owners Club as well when we were there, didn't we? That was we did. nice. Yeah. Look, look at this. Yeah. And we're going to have members try to attend a rally this year if we can. They were lovely people, so we signed up to them. Um, the camper van that I really liked at the show was this one, the three bridge campers. They showed just Volkswagen on the back, but that was the one that had the man, M-A-N, with the, uh, the, the man conversion. Van. A man van, that's right, yes. And uh, that van was fantastic. But, How much was it? But <laughs> it was over 100 grand. <coughs> I mean, yeah. it was nice, but... Yeah, it was over a hundred grand, it so it it's not, grand, in our, not in our budget. Um, no. So yeah, it was very nice, but yeah, it didn't have some of the features that Caroline liked as well. So the, to, to be honest, like a decent price. To be honest, the van we decided at the show that was best suited to us was. I know it sounds cheesy, but it was actually the adventure. Actually, the our van we've, van got. we've already got, which yeah. is good, I think, because yeah. if you'd have gone there and found something that we really loved, it'd have been in quite the quandary, wouldn't it? But it does need some new wheels and tires or off-road tires on it to make it look a bit more. Yeah, those purple ones, I think. No. Anyway, and also a tow bar so we can put a bike rack on the back now. Yeah, um, I concede with the tow bar, I'm happy Excellent. with that. Good. So that's where we got brochures to start with. We'll stop there and we'll move on to what else we bought. So for those of you who watch our channel, you know obviously we have Molly, which she will feature in this video, don't worry. Um, and we got Molly uh, a monkey, which she, we've been trying to get her for ages. We also got, which she hasn't seen yet, so she's not allowed for this bit of filming. So, well, one of these, a new. String monkey. String monkey, yeah. They're <laughs> really cool. a bit of a theme here going on. Brand new, yeah. Really exciting. Uh, new toy. We got that from uh, Mackay's Pet Stores. I've lost the card now. Mackay's Pet Supplies. Yeah. Mackay's Pet Supplies. The lovely Aileen. Um, you've probably seen their channel, uh, on other channels as well, but that's where we got it from. Really good. Fantastic service from Aileen. And Aileen, sorry. And we also tried to buy something else, didn't we? We did. We tried to buy a few things. And in fairness, it did save me quite a bit of money, um, but it wasn't done on purpose. So do you want to explain what happened? Well, there might be slightly differing stories on this one. Um, Ian forgot to put his wallet in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately then couldn't pay for anything throughout the whole day. We didn't really realise this until I'd bought the coffees and I'd bought the lunch. <laughs> It's just so easy, you we'll know? just cut. We'll just cut, and I'll show you what happened. So you can see what happened now. So you know exactly what happened with the wallet. And then we'll explain. Cut to what happened. Just to prove, um, just to prove that Birmingham is a safe place. It appears we dropped my wallet before we left, and it's on the floor. So poor Caroline's no, I had thought to... it was a cheap trick when he went out to when he went to get his wallet out of my bag to pay for something, and it wasn't there. So I've been panicking all afternoon that I've lost it. But so. in fairness, Caroline did drop it on the floor just down there. That wasn't me. 
Okay, to avoid me talking over Callan, I'll explain my side of the story now. So you've seen that what happened was, as we left the car, we were obviously setting up the camera and stuff to film, and I passed my wallet to Caroline and said, please can you put this in your bag, because she had a backpack on, and I didn't have any pockets, because I had camera stuff in them and everywhere, so she said, yeah, no problem at all. So she took the, the wallet and everything else, and you can see clearly, it obviously fell on the floor, and she missed it, so we didn't notice that, in her little backpack, until we tried to pay for something, which was a little bit embarrassing. Well, when he finally decided that he was going to pay for something, he was like... Pass me my wallet out of your bag that Cal you're carrying all day like a Sherpa. Caroline very kindly offered to pay for lunch, which was nice. Uh, that's just, and that's because we went to the pasty shop. Um, and coffees, which is great. And then we went to go and buy Molly stuff and realised that we didn't actually have the wallet. But at that point, we'd already committed to buying a very nice stand-up kayak, which we'll show you now. You've probably seen last week's video. So you can see that on the screen. So we agreed to buy that. Um, sorry about that to the company we were going to buy it from. When we realised we didn't have a wallet, we couldn't come back. And also, we were going to buy a the, chair, the chair, which again, mm. we'll show you in the video now, yeah. so you can see what the chair looked like. It was a really nice chair, folded up tiny and small in a pack, and Caroline was very excited. So those two things combined were about £700, so in fairness, forget my wallet was really good. Yeah, and to be fair, I just I, I could have paid, but I just don't trust him to give me the money back, so I just thought, no, <laughs> no chance. That's not what you said off camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you said off camera. <laughs> So anyway, we're now going to cut and show you exactly what we did buy, which is really, really useful for camp What fans, I bought, what I paid what for. What Caroline bought, yeah, that's going to be the way for it. Anyway, it's really cool, hopefully you'll love it. We're going to show you it now, and then we're going to go and use it over a, a series of a day, so we'll come back in a day's time, still part of this video, and show you how it worked out, because we're hoping it's going to work really well. So stay right there for one second. Okay, so here's what we bought. First of all, it's from a company called Brown Bird & Co. Um, camper van and Omnia ovens. Um, just before we start, I've got to say, these are the two of the nicest ladies we've ever met. They, they're absolutely lovely. It's their, their company, Brown Bird & Co. Um, they do custom camper vans, don't they? Uh, van conversions. Van conversions, yeah. 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 Really uh, smart. Laura and Jackie, um, and they have their business doing the camper van conversions. They're full-time van lifers, so they live in their van and they use one of these themselves. This is the Omnia oven, which we're going to talk about in a second. It looked fantastic, never seen one before. Uh, and I'm trying to adapt my cooking in the camper van to try and make things a bit more interesting. And as you know, I don't use the oven. Um, it's not because I don't like it or I want to use an oven or I want to clean it. That's generally not the reason. It's just that when you go camping, if anybody camping in a tent, you don't have luxuries like an oven. So it feels like a bit like cheating cooking in an oven. So I, I like to cook on the hob. Anyway, it's just me. Everybody else confused by Ian's idea of a luxury item. So how it works, we'll show you this so you can see close up as well, uh, from Brown Bird & Co. They, they sell this, they're an authorised seller. This product is Swedish, it's called an Omnia oven, and it's basically an oven that works on your hob. And it works with any hob, apart from induction. It's really, really clever. So it's three parts to it, which you can hopefully see on this card, I'll show you on the camera. Uh, there, three parts to it. So there's a bit that sits on the actual um, hob, the, the burner itself. There's a bit you cook in, and then there's a lid as well. So, really clever bit of kit. And you'll know that we like to use a rich monkey. Sorry about the rustling. Um, so this is this is what comes in the box in here on your oven. Um, so it's nice and compact and it comes in a bag as well. So I'm going to open it now. So we'll move the camera around so you can see uh, Caroline doing a film while we do this. We'll try and film. Well, I'll film Caroline opening it because that's easier. There we go. So bear with us two seconds. Right, Caroline's going to open this now. Okay. Here we are. So this is where you get in the box. There's an oven on the stove. So in the box, the grand unboxing. What do you get? What do you get? Um, book. There looks to be some really good stuff on there. Um, oh yeah, there's some recipes and things in there. And then it's in a bag. Cool. It's very lightweight. It's really, really light. You'll like this. Oh yeah, I like that weight. Being as you're obsessed with how heavy everything is. <laughs> Probably I'll get weighed before we go say, anywhere that's just next. Cute, but I won't say that now. So open up the bag and then everything's nicely packed. Cool. So that bit goes on the hob. So this is your hob yep. bit. And then that goes okay. on top of it. Like that. Yep, and then the lid goes on top of that. And then your lid. Cool. On there. Oh you gotta build the lid, cool. Uh, There's yeah. some buildings There's to do the, there. Yeah. There's a lid handle. Knob. Right. Okay, so let's build it, put it together and see what it looks like. Life, life. 
So, really easy reels to put together. It's so light, as you can see from there. Um, literally, you cook inside in that, that ring thing, like a ring donut, and we'll show you what they made of it because it looks really cool. Um, this bit sits on your hob, heats up, so it works with every single one apart from induction hob, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. um, really easy to clean. You can get stacks of accessories for it as well. What really sold it to us, or to Caroline, that's why she paid for it, was they had at the show, they had croissants inside. So we'll start with breakfast tomorrow, we'll cook some croissants in there, heat them up, and then we'll go from there. Effectively it works, just like a normal oven. Apparently you've even got the same cooking times as a normal oven. We'll sort of be intrigued to see that, how that, that works. Um, you can get silicone mould for the inside, so you can do cakes and stuff in it too. One thing, if anybody's a mountain biker, you'll know, um, especially a weekend warrior, that you'll know that when you finish mountain biking you have to have cake, and generally beer as well. But um, So... When we go away in the van, I want to be able to have cake and not shop bought cake and make some cake. And I want to try baking, so this would be ideal. Be on the bake off next. <laughs> Camper van bake off. So yeah, but it's so light. And the beauty of it is as well, it fits into this bag that it comes in. You can get accessory bags as well. Um, and then this, this will actually sit inside the oven, so it won't take up any more room than we've got at the moment. It'll oh, sit that's brilliant. By the ridge monkey. So yeah, all good. So. We'll come back to this uh, tomorrow, you know, the same video, so stay tuned in a minute and we'll show you how we get on with actually cooking with it and seeing how it works. And then we'll give you our verdict at the end, which we'll starting out of five. One thing we forgot to say is it comes with an instruction manual as well, obviously, it shows you how it works in the back. So it's got some recipe ideas. One thing it's got is chips, uh, like oven chips, um, a little basket at the top. We like, to, we like chips, um, probably seen from our videos. So it'll be really good to be able to do them in the camper van without stinking the camper van out and oil or anything like that warming bread, that kind of thing. And there's also recipes online. And um, Laura from um, Brown Bread Company, she basically gave us lots of ideas for different recipes and she had some on the stand on display and she's done quite a lot of stuff on, on um, Instagram as well. So we'll check out their website and have a look what else we can make with it too. We can make with it. Testing with corn nuggets. These are chicken nuggets that are not really chicken, they're made of corn. So good morning. I am in the camper van. Uh, we are gonna. I'm gonna make breakfast for Caroline. It's her favourite. So I've got the Omnia. We used it last night. I must say the chicken nuggets. I know they were corn chicken nuggets. They were absolutely fantastic. Um, they slightly stuck to the bottom, so I'm going to use some greaseproof paper or something. But they cooked in exactly the time it said on the packet, and they crisped up as well. Really, really impressed. So I can't wait to try this. So this morning we're going to have croissants warmed in this. It says it takes four to five minutes. It's so easy to use. So I'll show you. So we're going to try and do three meals on this. We'll see. Or three different cooking things. Certainly a very good start with the chicken nuggets. So I will make these now and crack on. So, so hello. And now I'm going to try and cook. Bear with. Just while that's cooking, I'll explain again. It fits nice on the hob, it's a perfect size, um, and it also fits inside our oven. So it fits in there, uh, out the way, so we can take it with us. But you can see it fits nice on the hob. You can easily get another pan on this next to it, on the left hand side. So you can use that for your oven, and you can use that for anything else you want to cook on the other side too. Uh, just another point to note, everything on this gets really hot, so you're not supposed to touch it with your hands. Obviously, I just did to start off with, but when you take the lid off, you're supposed to use a cloth. Oh, I can smell croissants. <laughs> Um, so basically, yeah, when you when you touch anything, you're supposed to use a cloth or oven gloves because everything gets hot. It does explain that in the instructions, so it's very clear. But just something to be aware of. You don't want to grab it with your hands because otherwise you can burn your fingers. Right, we've got another 15 seconds, and then we'll see what they look like inside. It's very cold today outside. I've got the door open while I'm filming in the van, but um, yeah, let's see. Okay, five seconds. Caroline's waiting inside for me to bring the uh, croissants. See how we get on. Right, we're good. That's five minutes, exactly as it says in the packet, so we'll, we'll try it. I'm going to use the cloth so I don't burn my hands. Hopefully you can see inside. Oh yes, can you see that steaming? I'll bring the camera over so you can see. There you go. Oh yes, beautifully cooked croissants. They look fantastic. Let's take them in and see what she thinks of them. Mm. Right, what do you think? Warm. Not, not quite as crispy on the outside mm. as you would probably get normally, but I didn't heat the pan up properly first. You're supposed mm. to heat it for three minutes. I got bored of it for a minute. Very good. Nice? Mm. Good work. Good, Thank okay. You. Next course, lunch. See you later. Right, your roll's done. What do you so. think? 
Yeah, I like it. It's I don't really like crunchy bread, so it's it's crispy, and yeah. I can feel that it's warm and properly baked, but not um, really crusty like it goes in the oven. So that took 12 minutes. So it followed the instructions on the packet exactly. Yeah. Um, so that's great. So we definitely know it can reheat stuff. It can reheat bread and it can reheat croissants. So the next test is can it make something from scratch? Mm. Anyway, I'll you enjoy I'm enjoying lunch. being fed anyway, thank you. <laughs> Two meals down, one more to go. So first, what are you wearing? Ta-da! This is my Omnia apron, which came with our oven. Very wow. kind, give us one of these. Fancy. So, what yeah, are you making now? I've not worn an apron like this since I was at school in home economics making Scottish shortbread. <laughs> so yeah, fancy. So, okay, we've just reheated stuff today so far. We reheated uh, croissants and we reheated bread, so we made them. So we're gonna actually try and cook something from scratch. So the instructions are quite good. They give you lots of different ideas. One of it says, try, try as your first cake, a ready mix cake mix. So I'm gonna try and make my very first cake in the Omnia. So I've lined it in my own special way, if you can see that. Um, oh gosh, I'm having all kinds of cake anxiety. I am the baker of this family. And I'm having all kinds of baking anxiety. I'm, I'm having to step away from this one and leave you to it. I think I made a cake like twice in my whole life. I think once for Caroline and probably once for my mum when I was little. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try and make my first cake in this, in this Omnia, see how we get on. So I've used butter to line the bottom of it. And then I've put some grease paper that I've made into weird shapes to make it fit. You can get proper silicon aligners for these, but we couldn't afford any when we bought it because we forgot my wallet, which you could probably just in. So I'm gonna try now and make the cake and then we'll show you how it comes out. Wish me luck. I think that might be it, not sure. Oh God, I can't remember. I'll give it a go. I'm in the oven. Okay. So my plan is, if I can make cakes in this, anyone can make cakes in this. I don't think I've got enough mixture actually, but anyway, let's give it a go. Okay, so this is our test. We're just trying to crouch it down for the camera because we're in the camp van and we're filming at a funny angle. Um, well, you need to. I'm, I'm just stood up normally. But... Yeah. I've still got my pinny on. So we've made the cake. I have peeked to see, and it looks really good. I'm really excited, so I'm going to show you now and see what you think. This is genuinely cake mix as you saw. It's my third ever cake in my whole life using a, a cheat cake mix, didn't I? But you, you did, did, he did cheat, so you know, don't give him too much credit, <laughs> please. He cheated. You do have to put an egg in it and some milk and then mix it all together and then oh, put it in the thing. So I cooked it for exactly the time it said on the thing, which was 25 minutes. So let's see if it's come out and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is a grand reveal. This is my cake I've made completely on this little oven on the top of the stove, okay? So you ready to see? Yeah, Ta-da! Wow. An actual cake, look at that. Can you see it? Yeah. I'm gonna cut it up and taste it now, but it's, it's a proper cake, a proper cake, made in that little thing. So just to show you, that, there's a bit that goes in the bottom, again. What happens is, you put that on top, the heat rises up through that, and then it basically bounces off the lid. The lid's got little holes in to let steam out. But it works just like an oven. So all that bit inside is like an oven. Absolutely fantastic. This is genuinely, I think, sorry about the banging, one of the best things I think we've ever bought for the camp van. I'm so excited to use this when we go away. I'm gonna get a cake out now and see what it looks like. So here you are with your finished slice of cake. <laughs> now, anybody that looks at me will know that I am a cake connoisseur. Um, however, I have given cake up for Lent, so I cannot try this. I get to eat it all. Can you see, look, it's actually cooked it perfectly. Slightly brown on the bottom, nice and light and fluffy on the top. Can you see, is it zoomed yeah. in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna taste it. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a good cake to me. Probably needs some like jam and buttercream, a bit of icing on it maybe, but um, yeah. I genuinely That's cannot all. believe I've made that in, in a stove top oven. That's fantastic. Massive plus to Omnia, Omnia Sweden. Um, Sorry, I should have probably finished eating this before I should have paused the wally mm. One minute. Right, stop stuff from my face now. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really impressed with this bit of kit. Um, you can buy it obviously from them, from directly, from Brown Bird & Co. If you look at their website, we'll put a link in the screen now so you can see it. And we'll also put some links in the video description at the bottom as well. 
I say that they, they they're full time van lifers, aren't they, Laura and uh, Jackie? And they they absolutely sort of said they use it three times a week. You can see why. It's basically like an oven on your tabletop, on your stove. You impressed? Yeah, I'm impressed with anything that gets you cooking more. Genuinely, Caroline is really good at making cakes, so um, I feel a little bit like a cheat here, but she's, she makes cakes and she's really good at it. So for me to make one and, and to, to actually make and it, it come out, yeah, it's amazing. I'm genuinely, you know, amazed. So yeah, 100%. So we'll give it a review now. So our verdict, what do we think of the Omnia? Good. I, I'm impressed, actually. It was, um, yeah, it did exactly what they said it would do. It's quite rare, that. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of recipes um, online. Um, as I mentioned, you can get the silicone mould inside and also like foil dishes which you can pop inside. Um, and ladies that sold it to us said they use um, those or what, what they're good for is if you're going away and you do, you know, you could make a chilli in it for instance and then you can just rewarm it in there. So you can put it in the foils and then you can just put the foil in and heat it. Much easier for cleaning and things. Yeah, it's great, especially when you go away on a, on a Friday night. The first thing we generally do is buy a takeaway. If it's not summer, we're not having a barbecue. So this would this would be great. You've got a home-cooked meal you can take with you, heat it up in your oven, fantastic. But we've cooked croissants in it, we've, we heat warm bread in it, and we've obviously made a, made a cake in it. So we've tried to do three different meals today, haven't we? Yeah. And we cooked the nuggets last night, which were actually amazing. I was really, really I don't impressed. think we showed the bit where we ate them. No, we, we ate them too fast, sorry about that. <laughs> we ate them and then we're like, oh, yeah. we didn't. We, we didn't film that. Yeah, we were too busy going, oh, aren't they good? Oh, isn't it really? We are, we're really impressed with it. But just to, just to show you, this is, we got out of the box, we cooked with it for the first time. You've seen everything we've done for the first time on camera. We haven't done anything else with it. Um, I can't wait to look at more accessories. So, the fantastic rating, what do we give it out of five? So, after three, should we yeah. go? We haven't discussed this. One, two, three, five. Five, but less a little bit. What? <laughs> well, What's less a little bit? Well, I don't want to say four I don't want to say four. I don't want to say four point five because it okay. is but it is better than that. And anything that gets you cooking <coughs> is automatically going to rate really highly for me. Um, but it does get really really hot. That's all the whole the whole thing, which you'd expect. It's a you it's know, an oven. It's effectively an oven on the on the hob. But even the you know even the knob when you try and pick it up. So you must remember to use an oven glove. Yeah. Um, definitely use them, but it's definitely five stars. But, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, about. like a nice Omnia branded one to match the penny would be uh, yeah. would be great. Um, yeah, really good, really good bit of kit. So, um, massive thanks to, to Laura and Jackie, who we got, we spoke to at the show for ages. We took up loads of their time. Um, we bought it with our money, it's not sponsored. We also met the man from Omnia from Sweden, um, who was really, really friendly as well, and uh, really, really impressed with this bit of kit. We're taking this with us everywhere. You can also use it on barbecues and outdoor cooking as well. The only thing you can't use it on is the induction hob. So, any heat source basically you can use it on. It obviously depending on the varying cooking times. We've used it on the hob here, on the smallest hob, and a very low heat, and it creates an oven, and it, it cooks in exactly the same time as the cake mix told me to cook it for, so really impressed. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, um, and we'll see you in next week's video. Bye. Bye. So, as promised, Molly is on camera. You hopefully can see her with her monkey. She's still best friends with him. And also, she sat in front of the beer, so I'm not sure you can see them. Let's try and move around so she can see the monkey. There you go. There's your monkey. There you go. You have the monkey. Thanks very much. So we've got some beers this week, and they aren't local beers by a long way, but there's a story behind them. Probably, as you follow our channel, you know, we unfortunately got COVID at Christmas, so we had loads of Christmas drink and food left over. So uh, unfortunately, we didn't drink it. So I've just found these in the garage. Thanks very much. That's very kind. Um, yeah, in the garage. That's right. Yeah, that's where Molly's food lives. So this is from the um, Green King Brewery, Bury St Edmunds, it's an IPA, and Caroline got them for me for Christmas and said that basically she's going to take me on a tour of the brewery, she's going to go, so we're going to go and stay down there. So that's basically why we've got these, so they're not local, but um, four different types of beers from, the, from Green King, so I'll try these out. And as promised, here's Molly for the video. <laughs> Thanks. Do you want some cake? Should we have some? Come on then. Bye. Just in case anyone's worried, Molly just pointed out she's not loud cake. Um, that's not for dogs, so instead she's having the monkey.